Our first guest is one of the Emmy-winning hosts of The Real. Please welcome Adrian Holton. What's going on? What's up? What's happening? It is so good to see you. I'm very happy to see you. Thank you. I'm happy to see you virtually. Absolutely. Now, listen, I, not a lot of people know this, but you and I go way back. We, we, have, we have history, like way, way back. I, I, I choreographed, yeah, I choreographed the second Cheetah Girl, uh, a number in the second Cheetah Girls. We go back. We go way back. And what people don't know is that I low key was choreographically challenged. I'm not even sure if that's a word, <laughs> but um, a lot of people don't know that in the group, like it took me way longer than the other girls to like <laughs> catch choreography. Now, if I could vibe on my own, you know, on right. my own, I got, I got to dance in my spirit. But uh, learning choreography is not the easiest thing for me. So first of all, I just want to say thank you for your patience. And second of all, you were such a dope choreographer. I, I love, 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 loved working with you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And, and what's crazy is that I feel like a lot of people have been rediscovering Cheetah Girls over quarantine. Have you noticed that too? Oh, yes. The TikTok's on another level. Again, I still can't do the choreography. So there's that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it in the movie, and I certainly can't do it a bunch of years later on TikTok. Should I attempt this? You should. That would go, that would go crazy, Adrian. It would. That would be amazing. I think the fans would love that. The struggle will still be real. The struggle so. will still be real. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, I hear that congratulations are in order. You just bought a house. Yes! Yo, I congratulations. Just which is my hometown. Um, obviously, the pandemic has taught us so many things, and I just realized I really wanted to invest in something that was close to my familia, mm -hmm. and I'm really excited about it. Now, also, I understand you're going to be neighbors with Martha Stewart. This is this is actually the PSA to let Martha know. Mi Absolutely. Casa es casa. Yep, exactly. And I feel like Martha would be like the best neighbor. You could literally go over and ask her for anything, and she would have it. <laughs> we have some sugar. Do you have some flour? Do you have the most random thing I could ever ask for? She's going to have it. 100%. And, uh, I'm just hoping to get invited, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And then you just ha also had, like, a mini The Real reunion. You got to hang out with Tamara finally, right? Yes, yes. I got to work out with Tamara, who, crazy enough, is working with Martha Stewart, so I'm trying to get her to, you know, put a good word <laughs> in for me. Um, but, yes, it's so crazy after seeing someone every single day for the last seven years of seven seasons of The Real, you know, obviously, she's no longer on the show, but then we went into, you know, doing everything virtually. Right. And I had not seen her face in over a year, well over a year, mm -hmm. and some change. And so I just started crying when I walked up to her. Mm -hmm. It was like the craziest moment. Walked up to her, grabbed her face, and was just like, I missed you. And I it was it's just amazing. Absolutely. I haven't seen her in a year. I've seen Lonnie, but I haven't seen Jeannie in well right. over a year. So prepare for me to have a full on nervous breakdown when I see Absolutely, because there's so much to catch up on. Jeannie's been, Jeannie's been married now, you just got a house. And I mean, life has been incredible. And yeah, I, we look forward to that too. Now, something that uh, Tamara just did was uh, The Masked Singer this year, which you recently did as well. And now, did you, did you give her advice about that? Did you talk to her about it? So the flamingo and the seashell came together mm -hmm. and she was mad at me. She literally turned to me at lunch and was like, I have a bone to pick with you. And I'm like, what did I do? She's like, you told me to do the mass Singer. You encouraged me and said that this would be, you know, like a great time. She, like me, has like performance anxiety in the sense of like singing. We love to sing. It's like one of our passions. But then you get up there and you're like, oh my gosh. Like it's, it is insane. I cried every single time before performing and after to the point where I'm pretty sure the whole team Apologies to the mass Singer fam. They were over me. They were so over me by like the third time I performed it. Like, if this girl don't stop crying, Honestly, I, I was losing it. So I, I forgot to tell her the part about how hard it is. Right. And that not only right. you have to get over the stage fright of like singing in front of people, but you also are inside of a costume that weighs a ton. Yes. And you might get claustrophobic in the mask. Absolutely. And you're trying to do choreography. It is not easy. 
and you sing it. So I, I, I have a tremendous amount of respect for you and y'all doing the mass singing. I, I once had a, had a job doing a, like a, a, this like Homer Simpson outside of Walmart. And you know, and I, I, I thought like, yeah, I'm about to be out here and be a dancing Homer and this and that. And then I quickly realized in that summer sun that that's why, you know, when you go out to the theme parks and stuff like that, that's why they do like the, min the most minimal movement because that <laughs> breath is so hot. And I don't understand how, how you would sing and do all that. Much respect, that's amazing. Now, you don't like to fly, but your husband is, is tell us what your husband is trying to have you do. So you don't like to fly, you don't like heights, but your husband's trying to get you to do what? My husband has jumped out of planes, I think over 40 times. Guys, he's actually hiding in this room. How, how many times have you jumped out of an airplane? Oh. <laughs> oh, 25 times, not 40 times. That was an wow. exaggeration. 25 times. 25 times he's jumped out of an airplane. I attempted to do it once. Well, I actually did do it once. It was the worst experience of my entire life. Um, <laughs> somebody actually convinced me that jumping out of an airplane would cure my fear of flying. And I'm here it? to tell you that that is a lie. It okay. made it worse. <laughs> it, it did not help at all. Like, that was the worst free fall feeling. I, this is all I can do to explain what it felt like. <laughs> and everyone else had, like, cute videos in the air. They were like, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> you know, giving shout outs to, like, their seat. I don't even right. know. I, the whole time, look like this. And I'm like, <laughs> mommy, mommy. Like, it was, it was tragic. So... No, I will not be jumping out of an airplane with my husband. Babe, I'm sorry, it's not happening. That's all right. Hey, that's um, all right. You know what? But, but I tell you what, when we come back, I'm not going to have you jumping out of a plane or anything, but we are going to play a game. We're going to play a game when we come back, y'all. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,